Yes, guys. Yes, people. Welcome back to another video. Welcome back to the second um, stream video, whatever we want to call it. Second piece of content on the channel today. It's been a bit of a quiet news day, but Fabrizio has just dropped a bomb, as he usually does. Ruben Loftus-Cheek looks to be the first player in the big Chelsea clearout of 2023. First of many, I'm hoping. I think we all are hoping. Before we get into the video, as always, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. All my socials are literally this name. So if it's not in the description, you know what you have to search up. Check out Jerseys FC, as always, for all your best affordable football kits. The link is down in the description below. Use the code CAREFREELUISG for 20% off any and all purchases. Don't forget to check out Flawless's tune in the description below. Don't forget to check out Neil's as well. And yeah, that's all the housekeeping done. We can get into the video. Let's see the Fabrizio tweet. So I understand AC Milan are in concrete talks to sign Ruben Loftus-Cheek from Chelsea. He is the priority target to rebuild the midfield. It says a lot that this is the first move that they've made after being eliminated the semi-finals of the Champions League as well. Loftus-Cheek is keen on the move as the negotiation is progressing very well. This is a key thing for me as well, because usually the consensus with Ruben has been that he's just happy to stay at Chelsea, regardless of where the club comes in. There's been a lot of interest for him in the last few years, especially after good loan spells at Crystal Palace, the um, coming coming back from the Sari season as well, even though he had the year out with the injury, there were still clubs that were interested in him too. So usually he said no because he's wanted to stay at Chelsea. But this time, I think it's because it's AC Milan. And fair play to him. You get the chance to play at the San Siro, compete for Syria, compete for a top-tier competition. AC Milan can progress far in competitions as well. Like They made the Champions League semi-finals, which nobody predicted that they would be able to do. And they have a semi-decent squad as well. I think Ruben would do really well for them. I think Syria suits him as well. It's a much slower league. It's not as physical as the Premier League, which means it's less taxing on your body. And I think overall, this is a move that's best for everybody. There's been a lot of English players that have succeeded there as well. The likes of Tammy Abraham, Chris Smalling's been there for years, Tamori as well. Like English players seem to translate really well into the Italian league. My only real question is what the fee is, but I could see him go for something around 15 to maybe 25 million pounds or something because Ruben's been linked with AC Milan before. Again, he's rejected it as well because he's wanted to stay at Chelsea, but they've come in for him before. They've just all that we've just kind of had issues in terms of the transfer fee. Same thing with Ziyech as well. I don't know if you lot remember that the whole Ziyech to AC Milan links that we saw for the last two summers back to back. Honestly, though, like Ruben, he is the sort of player that I wouldn't mind keeping. I've always said he's a very dependable squad player. He's done decent emergency calls for us at, um, calls for us in centre mid at right wing back as well last season under Tuchel. I don't know if you guys remember some of the performances towards the back end of last season. He's never really complained about game time. He'd be good in the dressing room because he's been there for years, but we can't have any room for favoritism or emotion. We have to be real about the situation that we're in. We are 11th place in the Premier League as it stands. Like I've been saying, I think we've got our last point of the season, so we could only drop further down from here. Thankfully, we can't drop any lower than 14. Thankfully for that. But the point still stands. We've had our worst season in years. There is no room for emotion. There's no room for, I wouldn't mind keeping him. If you're not good enough to start at a club that would be competing for the top trophies, we've got to look to get rid of you, especially if your contract is close to expiring. And I think Ruben's got about one or two years left on his deal. I think it's about one year, personally. But let me know if I'm wrong in the comment section. I think he's a good squad player, but like you can't have a squad player on the wages that, he, that he's on. And he's on 150 to 160k a week. That was my biggest gripe with Ruben. Because everything else is fine. I feel like you need some squad players. Players that you can rely on in emergency situations. That won't moan about the lack of game time that they're having. But not on the wages he was on. 150k was ridiculous. I feel like we gave that to him based on his potential at the time. Because Ruben looked unbelievable in his earlier years. 
I'm sure you all remember the 1819 um, 1819 Sari season. He was absolutely cooking in the second half of the season. And then we had that stupid friendly, like the worst timing ever for a friendly. Like, I have no issues with the cause. It was for anti-Semitism and all of that. And I'm all here for the fight against that. But the timing was just poor. Like we we booked that we booked that friendly the year after when we finished fifth. Like we all didn't know we were going to be Europa League favourites, and we booked it for a week before the final. And then we forced Maurizio Sarri to play all of his first teamers, and Ruben got injured because the pitch was an absolute disgrace. And he ain't been the same player since. So we kind of shot ourselves in the foot with that one, but it's also the reason why we're where we are now. Ruben has to go, and it is what it is. Like, he's the first of many. He's not good enough to start at a team that's competing for the Premier League. So it is what it is. But Ruben kind of leaves in a good way. I don't look at you and I think, get out of my club. Like, you need to leave right now. You've been crap for us for how many years? No, he's been a decent squad player for us. He's had some high points. Injuries have let him down. It is what it is. We move. But this is also not where it stops. Like, there's plenty of other players to leave. Plenty of other players to go. Gallagher's likely to leave. Ziyech is probably going to leave. Pulisic's probably going to leave. Oba's probably going to go. Um, Mount isn't re-signing. Kovacic isn't re-signing. Kai Havertz might have bids. Mendy's looking to leave. Um, we're probably going to try to sell Kepa. Um, we don't know what's happening. No, Thiago Silva is staying. Thankfully, Thiago Silva staying. Sterling, like I don't even know what's happening with him. He wants to stay, but Chelsea would probably look to sell him if we get a good bid. There is a giant clear out coming out. Fabrizio has also said the main aim in June is to sell players and to offload. So don't expect this to be the first before the end of the season. There will be plenty of other announcements of other players departing. Just a shame Ruben was the first, but you know what? Still had to be done. There doesn't have to be an order about it. Let me know your thoughts on Ruben Loftus-Cheek leaving Chelsea down in the comment section below. Let me know if you disagree with it, because I, I would be surprised if people did. I think we can universally agree that Ruben isn't good enough, but I don't feel like a lot of us look at him in a bad light. But yeah, I think it's just best for everybody. Ruben, go ball out at AC Milan. Help save them because Inter are dunking on their head tops right now. And yeah. I look forward to seeing what you do there. I'll be keeping a very close eye at AC Milan with Ruben Loftus-Cheek and Olivier Giroud and Tamori there. That place is turning into Chelsea light, you know. That place is actually turning into the Wish Chelsea. But we will be there. There'll be plenty of other Wish Chelsea's too. Uh, we're buying Strasbourg, apparently. I think there's another club that we're looking at, but I can't remember the name of it for the life of me. But yeah, it is what it is. Let me know in the comments section as well. Who are you lot buying? Who are you lot voting for for player of the season? Because if it's not Thiago Silva, I'd like to know who and I'd like to know why. For some reason, even Jorginho is there. And I was very, very tempted. By I was in my shameless bag for a little bit, but I thought, nope, nope, still a Guna, still a Guna. Can't vote for him for nothing until then. But I would like to see the look on some Chelsea fans' faces if he did win that. But same way, they're thinking the same thing about Mount. And if anybody other than Silver wins, especially Mount after he robbed him last year, it, it's a disgrace. In the words of Didier Drogba, it is a disgrace. It is an effing disgrace. No chance. Um, there wasn't really any other news from today. Jao Felix is emerged as a potential um, target for Newcastle because they can offer him Champions League football and pay the entire release clause outright or the valuation that AC Milan have of him. Have to see what happens with that one. I'm not really too fussed whether he stays or whether he goes, because I only want him here as a loan player next season. I don't want him to sign. 88 million is too much for what we've seen right now, and there's not really been enough output for that. I do still think there's a good player in there, but I need to see it before we put the money down for it. We have done potential signings way too much, and we have been burnt way too much. We're not doing it again, especially with a guy who didn't have the same output in La Liga either. Like, there's starting to be a bit of a worrying pattern with Jao Felix. I still think he's been our best forward since he's joined in January, but that doesn't really mean a lot. It, it doesn't really mean a lot. We have the worst attack in 99 years at Chelsea. So, yeah, 
I, I don't think that means too much. But let me know you guys' thoughts down in the comment section below. Let me know if you agree or disagree with anything I've said. Like, subscribe, all of that jazz. And we'll see you guys soon. We'll see you tomorrow. Man City preview. I bet we're all looking forward to that one, aren't we? City, please just have mercy on us. Have some mercy on us. Score three goals and pass the ball around a little bit. And yeah, conserve your energy. You have a UCL final to deal with. Big up, everybody. Like, subscribe. I am out. Peace.